If you want to know where people are landing on your website, you need a landing page report. However, it's not available by default in Google Analytics 4. You need to build it or customize it. In this video, I will show you how to create that report in GA4 and in Looker Studio. And I will tell you one thing that most of the GA4 users don't know. If you go to Google Analytics 4 interface, then reports, engagement, and pages and screens, you won't find the landing page dimension right here. But luckily, you can customize the report and add the landing page dimension then. So if you want to do that, you should click the pencil icon in that very same pages and screens report. Then you can go to dimensions, add dimension, and then keep looking for or just enter landing page. And then it will be added like this. Then click apply, click save and save changes to the current report. Click save. Then go back. And now in the list of dimensions, you will also have the landing page. However, keep in mind that when this dimension is used, page views are calculated in an unusual way if we compare that to Universal Analytics, which is GA3. Based on what I've seen and what some other people in the industry said, here's an explanation of how GA4 counts the page views of landing page. Let's say that a visitor first lands on homepage, then in the same session, the visitor goes to the pricing page and then to the sign up page. So all of these three page views happen in the same session. So first of all, we can agree that the home page is the landing page of this session. So in Universal Analytics, the number of page views on a home page in that particular report, I mean the landing page report, would be displayed as one. There is one page view on the home page. However, it looks like Google Analytics 4, for some weird reason, calculates all three page views and includes them as page views of the home page if you are using landing page dimension. So in this example, if I look at the landing page report and this is the landing page URL, then three page views will be included in this landing page. At first I was skeptical and I could not believe that, but later I have noticed that in multiple reports. In fact, I can show one example for you. Here is a report of my own blog. And if I go to page path, here you can see that the home page has 12,000 page views. So it means that this page was visited more than 12,000 times in a certain period of time. Now, if I switch to the landing page, you will notice that the number is more than two times higher. And this is a proof that if a person lands on this home page and then in the same session visits multiple other pages, all those page views are included in this number. So basically, you should read this number not as the number of times when this landing page was visited, but actually how many page views were generated in sessions that started with this landing page. I don't know if Google will change this. I really hope so because this report right here is unintuitive. But before that happens, just keep in mind that this is how this particular metric is being calculated. When it comes to Looker Studio, right now when I'm recording this video, there is no landing page dimension in the Google Analytics 4 connector. So if you click, let's say here, and you want to include a dimension landing page, you will not find it. However, maybe you're watching this video in the future, so I would still recommend that you try to enter that dimension name right here because I'm pretty sure that eventually this dimension will be available in Looker Studio as well. Anyway, so the question is, what now? What is the alternative? So right now, the main alternative that I could suggest is to use the event called session start because in Google Analytics 4, every session is supposed to start with a session start event. So if I click on this table, or maybe let's say I can actually create a new table. So let me add a chart, then table, I can drag it like that. And here, first of all, I need to filter down just to the session start event. So click add filter, then click create filter. And then you can name this session start or something like that. And then here we are looking to include only those events where event name equals to session start. Click save. So the first thing that you will notice is that views is zero. Views metric works only with page view event. 
it does not work with the session start because, well, that's the structure of the data model in Google Analytics 4. If you want to see some numbers here, you should change the metric from views to event count because right now we are going to count the number of times when the session started. So remove this and instead add a metric event count like that. And now we see that the session started 22 times on that test website. But again, right now we are interested in the page URLs or page paths. Where did those sessions start? That's why we can remove the event name dimension and instead add a dimension that could be page path or page title if you want to see that or full page URL. Let's say that right now I want to see the page path. I will click it. And then you will see the page paths of pages where the session started. And in this case, this number actually works as you would expect. This number just shows how many times did the session start on these pages. And all other subsequent page views, like it was in this example, they are not included in the number. So these numbers are more accurate, but right now, if you wanted to also include some additional metrics such as conversions, then this method makes things almost impossible. So for the basic report, like how many times were those landing pages seen, this kind of workaround will be enough. But to also report conversions, things get much more complicated and you would probably need to wait for the landing page dimension added to the Looker Studio or you could go very advanced and connect Google Analytics 4 with BigQuery, then connect BigQuery with Data Studio and build some custom landing page report with some additional metrics. But this goes way out of scope of this video tutorial. And that is how you can build a landing page report in Google Analytics 4 and in Looker Studio. If you found this video useful, hit the thumbs up button below the video. That will help me understand what videos do you like and what should I create in the future. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or Google Analytics 4, then consider subscribing to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.